So I had a request for um, fashion, specifically for flowing gowns and how to, how to paint them, how to illustrate them. It's a really good question because there, there's um, this fine art, you know, there's the, the art you do just because you feel like you want to do it. And then there's commercial art where you get hired to do specific art. In today's world, there's AI, and I don't know how that's going to affect anybody, but just, 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 I'm going to move forward as if I don't even know about that. But anyway, so I want to show you how using a digital format, in this case, would be Procreate, how to create the folds of a dress. This is the picture we're going to do today. And, um, let's just show you right now. So what I want to do is I want to take that girl right there, that young lady. And the real challenge is not the young lady, it's the, the dress because of all the folds in the dress, okay? But we're going to start with her. And the first thing I want to do is I want to take the background and I want to make it like a gray. There we go, like that. The next thing I want to do is I want to pick a brush. I don't want the charcoal brush. I want... Um, I want the dry brush painting and there's the dry brush now we're going to start with the girl and we're going to start with a uh, a brown skin tone maybe a little bit on the red side orange side and we're just going to try to recreate whoops that's way too big recreate her um the size of her head there we go and she's got the, the plunging neckline here. Oh, I'm still in the fast mode. I'm sorry. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be trying to think fast. Let me just do it normal. Uh, I want to show you how I would do this. So I. I don't know if you've ever heard me say that when I was a young man, and I was in high school in New York, and uh, anybody who was interested in art. Was, would receive the same message. This was in the late 60s now, so it's been a while ago. So they would receive the same message from the teachers, and the, the message was this, that um, artists aren't as necessary anymore because of photography. And they are necessary, they're just not as necessary. And so that was disappointing, first of all, to hear that. And then, okay, now I'm using an eraser, I'm going to use it. A hard edge dry dry brush okay just to, just to kind of trim down that arm right there made it a little bit too wide but anyway so we were told um, that uh, what was I gonna say um, that the the art artists in for newspapers and magazines wasn't as important as it used to, as it had been before our day like in the 50s and 40s because even in the 50s and 40s there obviously were cameras but they wanted to um oh gosh they wanted to tell us i guess you would say that the artists on madison avenue if you if you know new york you know madison avenue is where the advertising agencies were i don't know if they're still there or not but that's where they were that's what we were always told that you're going to work for madison avenue and you're going to be drawing underwear I am not kidding. That's what they told us. So um, it didn't sound very exciting. And, and, and but not only was it not going to be it was just going to be underwear, but it was going to be floating underwear. It wouldn't even be on a person because everybody was kind of prude, I guess, back then. The general population was prude and nobody wanted to see... Um, you know, naked people, well, not not naked, but you know, half naked, whatever, whatever people dress. So, so yeah, so you had to have I, uh, f underwear that would look like it was floating, so it wouldn't look like somebody was wearing it. Isn't that something? And so that sounded so boring to me. I think I've shared this with you before. I won't do it too much again, but it just always plays plays in my mind when I do these things. Well, anyway. The the exception to that was this was the the fashion girls, and uh, I say girls because for some reason it was always the girls that were doing this. They they were drawing these these fashion 
um, pictures with the, the legs sticking out of the dress like I'm doing here and and, and the flowing dresses so um, it, it occurred to me at that time that well I'm either not going to do art for a living or I'm going to really study how to do fashion even though I, I was not interested in it at all um, but I ended up not doing any of those things I ended up doing radio but <laughs> isn't that funny but that's how it was yep yeah. okay so now you see I'm roughing it in you can see the rough idea of the of the woman and um, so now let's, let's try and get a little bit closer to her go up to her face and we'll take the face of the actual photo and try to make this face look a little bit more like that face I'm going to put an extra layer on here um, there it is and just so I don't mess up this too much so let's let's go ahead and make um, make her face a little bit darker maybe a little bit oranger too Here we go, a little bit like that. And we'll go ahead and get the dark for her hair. And the reason I'm using the, the uh, dry brush is to create the artsy look or the uh, painterly look, which is what I want to do. I might decide to go to the oil brush because it's a little bit... neck is around right here. Let's get a little bit darker here. Yeah. Um, yeah, so the decisions that were made by a lot of, like myself, decisions, I'm going to go to oil. It's, it needs to be a little bit more um, fine than that. But anyway, the um, decisions that we made based on on those statements were not accurate because if you think about it art became so big and so in demand with the advent of um movie technology and also uh video games which weren't even around back then uh, but movies were and, and movie technology was advancing also the movie technology, what I'm referring to is the, the use of art as, as a way to create landscapes from other worlds and landscapes from, um, from fantasy ideas, you know, not just in cartoons, but in, in actual movies. So how many times you're looking at a movie and you don't realize that there's nothing, they're not there at all. That, that picture you're looking at is painted by somebody and, uh. So, all right, let's get some, some light colors in here. Get some really light ones over here. Yeah, there we go. It's okay if it's exaggerated a little bit. She's got some light hitting her on this side. I think the face is really important even if the the focal point of this if this was a fashion picture the focal point would be the dress but I think there's a subconscious thing that we humans do we look at the face every time we always look at the face And if you notice, I'm not trying to duplicate the face exactly. I'm just trying to get the idea of a face. And uh, so I don't know if you were to ask me about um, the, the working artist in today's world. That's a really valid question, especially if you're going to school. 
I would ask the teachers, they are more in touch with what's happening right now. I honestly have been out of it so long. My, the, the way I mostly um, use my art as a way to provide for myself is through um, children's books, illustrating children's books. And that's pretty much what I do. Yeah, that, that should do a whole video on that. I think you might appreciate that. But this, this, um, the feedback I'm getting from you guys, by the way, is helpful to, to know what to do next on here. I was surprised at how many people wanted to see more digital. And I'm kind of glad about that, actually. Um, but let's get that color right there. get some a little bit red or area dark red for her lips give her a little bit of a smile a little bit come on girl give me a smile <laughs> try to grab that why is it not working? There it goes. Boy, that's not working too well. It's too small, maybe. darker I think yeah now again if you were to do a fashion she got some hair coming down here Let's, if you were to do a fashion picture which is what we're doing we, we didn't even get to the fashion yet we're just still working on her face but you would um, Make a whoops! Make a concerted effort. I, I would think. Uh, let me finish what I was going to say. You make a concerted effort to uh, let's blend those two layers together, so I can see what I'm doing better. get this uh, this color we had over here and use that as a way to, to highlight some of her skin tones all right now we can see that we already have some proportions that are wrong so let's make her head bigger let's take it in larger Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay. Um, let's try and get some of these colors off of the the dress. Hmm. 
It's in the dark. darker air here. down her shoulders a little bit. Alright, we're getting there. And again, I, I'm trying to work on her so much I really should be focusing on the dress. Let's get some light colors in there now. Okay. Let's take that color and work it into her hair. She's kind of cartoony right now. And again, you know, the, the one thing about doing these videos is that I don't take the time like I do on a, on a full art piece. Um, I can. I mean, I should probably do one and then time lapse it and then narrate it. It's probably the best way to do that. But I want you to see what I'm doing. I want you to get the idea of what I'm doing. There we go. There's her leg, her foot. Let's get some light on there. And what I like about the oil paint on the digital is that it, it it behaves like real oil. It has that ability to to blend. No differences with real oil. After a week, real oil will dry, but the digital it never dries. So you can come back to it in a year, and it would still be good. You can still manipulate it. All right, I know that's not much of a leg right there, but I'm just going to keep it like that for now. Now, so what I want to do is I want to get the color of this dress. So we'll use that right there. And we'll just do our best to paint it in everywhere. It's the folds that's going to make this dress. Those little folds. So we're going to lighten this. And we have some light coming down here. There's some light coming down here. Some light up there. And lots of, lots of light coming down from way up at the top by her waist. And then of course you got a lot of dark, these little pleats.
I'm not going to worry about the flowers. She's got flowers in her hand, but I'm just not going to put them in there. I mostly wanted to show you the folds, how to create that look of the folds. All right, we can turn off the reference photo so we can make this bigger now. I might need to come back to it for her foot and her hands. But mostly I wanted you to see how you would do. Let's get that a little bit darker. Uh, let's, uh, let's use the turpentine brush because you can go smaller with the turpentine brush. There we go. Now let me get that that reference photo so I can make her foot look better. Let's get that foot. from her shoe and get some dark dark areas for between the toes get some light areas the color of here get some toenails and and again it's it's um, impressionistic it's the idea it's not necessarily the photographic representation let's put that on her leg she got a little something there a bracelet or something and I think you see it I think you we got it right there you can see what we were trying to do and uh, so that's that's it in a nutshell um, that's the fashion. Um, what you could do if you were going to submit it, um, let's say you were working with a, um, a fashion designer and he or she said, can you, can you do a rough sketch of what the dress would look like? Well, this would be the first thing you would send. So what I would do is I would do that, do it, double it up, alpha lock it, get rid of that bottom one, copy this color here, and then color her in completely and make her disappear i'm going to show you why so we'll make her disappear get all of that same color so that she's the same color as the background now there's a real good reason for doing that when i get rid of the background you see how all those dark areas are showing through well those dark areas will be um will the any background that you put it on will come through so you don't want that so you get rid of that alpha lock and then paint onto those those dark areas so that you cover them and try not to get too close to the edge but you can always fix that if you do and then 
you take this other layer and you put it on top of that layer and there you go and now you can see the bottom layer peeking through so you get the eraser and you get some of that bottom layer to go away so you don't have to worry about erasing her head because you're not working with the image you're working with the bottom image and and that whole bottom image the whole purpose of that is to um, is to prevent the background from showing through so I'm going to give you uh, an example of that right now okay so there we have her let's put that background back in there and now let's add another piece here and so now we have a layer behind so let's, let's merge these two together first of all and now we have a layer behind her so let's just make it um i don't know like a, like a night scene or something let me use the the dry brush for this whoops i don't want to be coloring her in on the background see i was making a mistake there so I went behind her and uh, maybe she's in a city somewhere I think she'd be in a city or in a ballroom or something I don't know where she is <laughs> I'm just trying to make something up here and then you could you know, add stuff to the background. Um, I think you might want to use a little bit of red on this one. Oh, that's not a bad color right there. Just throw some of that in there. Oh yeah, that all sets it nicely. And then just keep working that until you're happy with the end result. And it takes a little bit of work doing this just to get it right. And I kind of like the idea that she's got this very blurry background going on. Let's give her a little bit of maybe there's some shadow going on from her. She's casting a shadow herself. Let's go ahead and put some of that orange on. I kind of like that, the way that orange is playing with that. Yeah, so your, your mind, your imagination can decide where she is. dark and it always doesn't help to I mean it doesn't hurt to put a few vertical lines just because So there you would have your idea for um, a fashion. If, if you had an assignment as an artist to create a fashionable um, illustration for, for a design, a fashion designer. Unless you are the fashion designer, then you might, then obviously you want to be able to do that as well. Okay, hopefully that helps somebody out there. I did want to thank um, the folks who have asked me to do the the quick sketch thing i don't know if that was good or not but anyway here's the the other request was to do fashion and, and folds how do you do folds 
the, the real thing is you could take longer to do that and it would be more photographic, I guess. All right.